to a game two between Sponge and Nagnar as the, I think this is the winner's bracket finals before the finals finals. Yes, I believe that is correct. Immediate lift off. This is, I feel like, I almost feel like I casted this one again. This is on Neo Sylphid, I believe, again. You're seeing the race, although it's different colors this time. Yeah, so White Zerg bottom right-hand corner from Nagnar. I think this was inverted spawns previously. Nagnar starting the bottom left-hand corner. And it was different players. It's all running together. This is what, this is your brain on infested Terran maps. Um, Overlord scooting forward and again, capturing these uh, bases uh, in particular for the supply is a big advantage. It looks like initial advantage going to Nagnar in, in that regard. This drone, and actually able to send out a drone and capture this close infested command center, which is a huge advantage. Sponge grabbing his gas, that's gonna delay the gas a little bit, but I still think having that supply lead and having more infested command centers to work with in the long term, it, it plays out. I like that strategy from Nagnar. Let's see if it ends up playing out in the long term. He definitely had the spawn advantage previously, leaving this single drone out. Let's see if he uh, scoots that drone around and is able to make something out of it. And actually, if he wanted to be clever, he could probably blockade, he could even land this command center and blockade uh, Sponge in and play the game from there and force him to produce infested command centers to sneak out. I like what Sponge has done, pulled off the line, making sure that drone is in the way to make sure that this infested command center can't land, but he can't do that forever. And there's more, a lot more infested command centers that are out and about to produce additional infested Terrans to work. So Nagnar with a huge lead in that regard, he's got 49 supplies. He's not gonna need to build overlords for a while where Sponge is clearly gonna need to build overlords. I, like, I wonder if he just put this on follow command. So that's gonna be one less drone that he can work with, but uh, well worth it that he doesn't have to worry about infested Terrans just spawning in his base. And it's almost like the drone sitting in the shade. What a hero. I, I feel like I should name this drone. This has to be the most like heroic drone of all Zerg time. I'm gonna name him Spiny. Oh, and failed at his one task, just as he got his name too. Isn't that always how it works? Anyway, Sponge running out with this initial infested Terran. I he now knows the spawn location as his overlord checking the 12th o'clock location and seeing no creep there. Two infested command centers trying to create a bit of a blockade in the bottom right. Let's see if Nagnar keeps one back. Looks like he is going to keep, well, keeping this one back. He had to provide a defensive stance, moving out his own infested Terran. He's also got this infested Terran building in base. Already he's taken one hit, and I think I missed this, and there was a, looks like, uh, defensive explosion on the drone. This one going into the main... And Sponge losing a lot of hatchery health and also losing several drones. That's going to put him economically behind. Plus, he's got more infested Terrans incoming. Did I miss the infested Terran on the opposite end? Okay, so I missed the counter explosion as far as the defensive play right there. Another drone moving out. Sponge realizing he has to get the counter damage done if he's going to win. Sponge actually just calling GG right there. So that was a fast one. So we'll do another game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.